Hello. What I'm going to look at today is sort of e editing the mesh of a weapon. And what I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to add a silencer to the Chinese pistol. Um, in the New Vegas Geek, you could try adding a silencer to the 9mm pistol. I've done that on the Geek. Um, that's about, you know, I only have a basic grasp of sort of NIF scope, which is what I'm going to use. But anyway, so start off in the Geek and just save your thing and we're gonna call it um just gonna call it pistol. So what you gotta do is you wanna open NIFScope, which you'll have to download to the internet, but if you just Google NIFScope, you'll be able to find it. And so we're going to load up the Chinese pistol oh wait, something I should probably demonstrate doing first. Um you'll wanna open your data folder. Um so what I'm in is I'm in I'm in program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout 3, game of the year, data. Um and now I'm going to go to Fallout Meshes, which I'll double click here. And yes, open with. You'll need Fallout Mod Manager for this as well, which you can just look up on the internet. And you think you can download that from Fallout? Free Nexus, and you'll want to click. I've already done this, but you'll want to click Extract All, and then choose a destination for everything to go. So anyway, what we're going to want to do is go and click Load at the top here. And right now, I'm in me the folder I created: Fallout f Meshes, Fallout Free, Meshes, Weapons, One Hand Pistol. Like that. Now I'm going to look for. Um, Mauser Pistol 01.nif, which I'm going to double click. And you can see a Chinese pistol has loaded up. Now, if this is the first time you've ever used NIF scope, you will just see it completely white. So, what you want to do is go to File, Resource Files, and check Automatic Selection up there. Then just close and reload everything. So, what we're going to get, what I'm going to do next is open up a second window of NIF scope. And click load, and we're going to load 10mm pistol silenced from the same set of folders. So here you'll see a mesh of a silenced 10mm pistol. That's just because I'm going to be using, just copy, straight up copying this silencer. So I'm going to right click this and hit, go to block and copy branch. I'm going to open up my other thing of NIF scope. And you can see there's this tree diagram of all the different um, nodes that exist. Since we're creating a whole new node rather than editing any other things, I'm just going to click the main one, mouse or pistol. I'm going to right click, go to block, and paste branch. And now a silencer has appeared. Obviously, not in the right place. That's not where you want it to be. But my controls I'm using, by the way, when I'm clicking, it's rotating, right clicking and rotating like that. And I'm using the middle mouse button to move it around. Anyway, now to get it in position, finding the exact numbers can be a little bit fiddly. So, oh god, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, you can see this translation here, vector 3, with all these X's and Y's and so on. Now I'm just going to go and track down the text file that I made. Um, oops. Mouser, here we go. Because I did this before already and found out the exact vectors that you need. So, if you're doing this on a different weapon, you'll probably need to use a different thing. So, I'm just going to double click this X and paste that in. Then, Y, I'm going to copy this. By the way, my X was 21.3367, my Y is 6.3742. So I'm going to get click back, double click, and highlight Y, highlight everything in the Y section, and paste. Now, what the hell's happened? Where's it gone? Um, and now for the X section, minus 0 0.0433. Click here, just double click, and go to the, oh, it's actually Z, not X. Paste. See, so yeah, that's only made a minute change, but it's getting the silencer right on the tip. See, it's just an aesthetic thing, really. Um, so now we've got a silenced thing. 
You can also retexture from this, I think. If you click in the right things like that. You can select a new texture for it, but I'm not going to do that. The texture is fine. You can do a Gek retexture anyway. So now we will file, save as, and give it a name. Now I'm going to call it My, my Mouser Pistol 01 is my previous test. So I'm just going to call it My Mouser Pistol 02 and save that. Now we're going to want to find it. So you'll want to go to Documents or wherever it is you've saved your textures to, so you can see textures fallout like free here. Textures. No, not textures. What am I doing? Meshes fallout like free is where I want to be, obviously. Meshes. Uh, weapons. One hand pistol. My mouse a pistol 02. Which I'm going to copy. And I'm just going to head back to my fallout like free data folder. Go into meshes, right click new folder, which I'm going to call pistol, which is the same thing that I called my mod when I saved it before. See here, pistol.esp. Then just double click here and paste it in. Now we can head back into the GEC. Pardon me. Um, and we're going to want to find our. First of all, we'll go to we'll just want to type in the filter box first person and click all so it filters everything now we're going to need to find the first person Chinese pistol thing which I believe is called no, it's first person Mauser double click that I'm just going to call it first person Mauser 2 click edit down here by the model and then where it says model file name hit edit click pistol my Mauser pistol 2.nif and there it is, our silenced Mauser pistol. Hit OK, hit OK, and yes to create a new form. Now we're going to want to go to weapons. Whoops, clicked in the wrong place. Apparently it's not called that. There it is, Chinese pistol. Uh, hit yes to all if that comes up. I'm going to I click, just give it a new name, Modded Chinese Pistol. My Mauser Pistol, I'm going to call that there. Next up, we're going to want to go to Art and Sound. And in the first person object, we'll find first person Mauser 2, which is what I made before. And then Model, we're going to Edit. And you'll see the Mauser come up. And now hit Edit, Pistol, My Mauser Pistol. 02.nif is for silenced Mauser. Now at the moment the silencer isn't making any difference so detection sounds we'll want to click silent and now you'll see this attack sound WPN pistol Chinese fire 3D click that and all this will come up so now we're going to look for WPN pistol 10 millimeter silenced fire just extend that and you'll see that's 3D so hit 3D. Now WPN Chinese Pistol Fire 2, we're going to WPN um sorry, WPN Pistol Silence Fire 3D. Now the sound effect that just played was the sound of the default sound, not the sound of one you just clicked, so this will be a silent sound in game. And since this gun's a piece of rubbish, you might just want to change the damage as well here. I changed it to 12, so it's kind of an average damage. Um, that should be everything. Again, you can fiddle with any of the other settings that you want um, later on. And then you will need to put it somewhere in the world, obviously, like in a vendor's inventory or give it to an NPC or, you know, just put it somewhere in the game. Um, and that's it. The uh, gun is ready. Again, I only have a very basic knowledge of Nifscope. That's pretty much all I've been able to figure out how to do, is to add silences to the guns. I mean, you can see when you click on different parts of a gun, different things are highlighted. The different various nodes here. Um, 
And look, you can see if I when I click the clip and slide this, it plays the reload animation. So you could possibly mess around by pasting branches into the clip section. Um, apparently, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't create a new reload thing. You know, so you put something else in there because the reload animation for this for the Chinese pistol looks really weird. It 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 looks really really weird in game. But anyway, that's that's everything. That's all for this tutorial. Um, I am going away tomorrow, the 18th, and I think I'll be returning on the 25th. Um, and during that week, I will be unable to answer any posts or comments or post any videos or answer any messages because I'll be without internet during that time. Um, then I think I'm going away the next week, only during that week, I won't be able to post any videos but I will be able to answer comments and messages and so on. So there won't be any videos for Fortnite now. This is the last video for two weeks. Hopefully that'll give me some time to think up new videos. Um, anyway, and figure out how to do various things. But I can show you. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.